Okay, so this is now attempt number four to get this video done. I am crossing my fingers that this time it works. Um, this particular review is all about local governments. Um, there were quite a few of you that needed it, and I think it has something to do with just the different names um, and kind of how confusing that is. But just remember that it doesn't matter what level you're at, whether you're national, state, or local, if you are a legislature, you do the same thing at the local level that you do at the national level, same for the executive branch, same for the judicial branch. So if you know that the legislative branch makes the laws, the executive branch executes the laws, and the judicial branch interprets the laws, then this is just another name for what you already know. So looking across this top part, the first thing we're going to talk about are the legislatures. Well, legislative branches... What did I just say? Make laws. Okay, so legislative branches make laws. It does not matter that these are local legislatures. Local legislatures make laws just like state legislatures make laws and just like the national legislature make, makes laws. Excuse me. So where is this difficult? Right here. And the fact that they're called something different in a county, in a town, and in a city. So what are they called? Well, in a county, they're called a board of supervisors. In a town, they're a town council. And in a city, they're called a city council. So it doesn't matter whether you're in a county, a town, or a city. It doesn't matter whether it's the Board of Supervisors, the Town Council, or the City Council. All that matters is that these three groups are legislatures, and legislatures make laws. Now, in the local level, we call those ordinances. Ordinances are just local laws. So, Board of Supervisors, Town Council, City Council make ordinances, otherwise known as local laws. So what else do you have to know about the local governments? Each county and city has an elected school board. What do you think the school board does? Ponder it, mull it over, school board, school board. So they oversee the operation of K-12 schools. So it's school board sc oversees the schools, right? There's your connection right there. And it's K-12 schools because they, they don't work with um, colleges, community colleges or four-year colleges. Um, they work only with um, elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools. In local governments, cities, towns, and counties have an executive branch. What's the executive branch do? Everywhere they execute the laws. So the person who holds that position is either called a mayor or a manager. Sorry. So the executive branch always executes the laws. So whether it's the president, whether it's the governor, or whether it's a mayor or a manager, they all do the same thing. They execute the laws. Why? Because the president, the governor, the mayor, and the manager are all part of the executive branch, and the executive branch always, always, always executes the laws. It's that simple. Mayor, manager, executive branch, executive branch executes the laws. This last sentence down here, we've already talked about up here, local governments pass ordinances for their county, town, or city. So, Board of Supervisors, Town Council, City Council, they're all passing ordinances that people in their county, towns, or cities have to follow. 
So this is the basic kind of structure of the local governments. This page is what they do. So we are going to complete this together. And then I want you to, after the video is done, um, draw a picture for each of them. So local governments have the power to. So what can local governments do? Well, the first thing they do is they enforce state and local laws. So state laws coming from the General Assembly local laws coming from the local legislature. So there are some, I don't know, for example, environmental laws, things that you are and are not allowed to dump into our waterways that local governments will enforce even though that law came from the General Assembly. And then you have Isla White County laws specifically that um, Isla White um, will enforce. So the second thing that local governments do is they promote public health, clinics, hospitals, protect public safety, sheriff's department, fire departments, EMTs, they educate the children, right? That's what the school board's here for. This would be K-12 students, so students who are in kindergarten through 12th grade. They protect the environment. The environment within their locality is their, is their responsibility to protect it. They regulate land use. So Isla White County has the right to say, yes, Green Mountain, we are going to give you some of this land in Windsor to use for a factory. No, some other company, we are not going to give you any land. And then the last thing is that they can levy and collect taxes, which in most localities is things like um, property tax. There might be a sanitation tax for trash pickup. Um, sometimes there's a water tax. Um, for water usage, but these are the things that local governments will do. Not all that dissimilar to what the state does um, because they are very, very linked. Um, so go back and for each of these seven things, either down here at the bottom or next to it, wherever you want, draw a picture to help you remember this, um, and then you are done with your local government review.